Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques that help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. So this exercise um, uses a yoga block to bring a little bit more mobility into the hips in a really um, relaxed, passive way. So I'm going to start lying on my back. And you want to um, do this with your client just to kind of test the waters first. So we want to see what is the range of motion of the hip um, femur head in the pelvis. And for many folks, this is very glued together and a bit sticky. And so what they'll do is they'll let the leg roll out and then they'll let the pelvis come with. So what we're wanting to use as our baseline is what is just that pure um, external rotation of the femur in the hip socket. And so once you've kind of seen what that is, you can use this block to help encourage a little bit of release. So you're gonna take the block and place it so that you can bolster the thigh. And what I want you to do when you, when you try this is to make sure that when you're in this little bit of external rotation, you don't feel any stress or strain or stretch around the hip. And so I'm just giving the weight of my leg to the block. And then you can take a few deep breaths there, just making sure they've really relaxed here. And then as they're able to dial in, you'll start to have them arch and curl their pelvis. So it's a little tiny movement, little tiny arch and a little tiny curl. And it should be pain-free, tension-free, fluid motion. And as they're working here, you just keep messaging them to let these muscles go. So a lot of us hold neural tension in the hips that we aren't even aware of, we don't even know is there, and that inhibits from us from getting really good movement in the hip joint. So this is just kind of allowing that to unwind a little bit, and it's a fairly easy thing you could even give for homework to some of your clients who seem to be really tight in this area. And so you just do, you know, maybe eight to 10 arches and curls, and then bring the movement to a still point and have them just notice, did they create any tension that they can now get rid of before you have them slowly float the knee back to the ceiling. And then you take the block away and then just test and see, is there a little bit more range? Is there a little bit more ease? Is there a little bit less cobweb? And hopefully, I feel, I feel like I'm moving a little bit better in that place now. But if you try it for yourself, it can be quite profound for some folks who, again, don't even realize that they're holding tension here. And um, instead of just doing kind of the traditional ball and fascial stretches on the back of the hip, this can be a nice way to also complement that um, gentle opening and releasing of this very important area around the hip joint. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. See you next time and never stop learning.